Hello everyone! Hi. <laughs> we just spent time watching Head of the Family by, well, Full Moon Pictures. Now, we have an interesting relationship with Full Moon Pictures, which is to say none, yeah. other than Puppet Master, which we've watched in Killjoy yeah. 1, 2, 3. This is your first Full Moon feature, isn't it? Yes. Well, with that in mind, Head of the Family is about a man trying to get rid of someone to marry his wife. Uh, his lover? Yeah. Or the, so, the person he's having an affair with? I don't know. Whatever. It's a story about love, betrayal, and, and someone with a giant head. I was getting to that, Andre. Stop <laughs> stepping on my game so Don't get ahead of yourself. Uh. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Martin, this is your first full moon feature. Now, I'm gonna tell you that this is one of the better ones. Is it though? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think? I mean... Ew. <laughs> Ew. That could be a good thing because it's a horror movie. Yeah. I mean, the acting was shaky. Uh, the props were shaky, the room was <laughs> Very shaky. shaky, and smoky. Yes, it was like someone bought a smoke machine and was like, every place is a smoke place. Or the director was just like, smoking three cigars at the same time. Yeah. One take is enough. <laughs> yeah. But, any other thoughts? Like... It was a movie. It's certainly wise. Andrew, your thoughts on the movie? <laughs> I liked it. It was a very bizarre movie that I was not expecting. I was expecting like some haunted, well, not haunted, but like a trap house run by a massive head who is controlling everything behind the scene. Instead, we got a triangle drama and blackmail. So basically, you wanted Saw. I basically wanted Saw, and instead, I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Which it was inspired by. Yeah. And the monsters. Yep. That's that's a weird combination. For me, it all comes down to this tagline. Upset the head and you're dead. <laughs> that perfectly summarizes the movie for me. Yes, the movie has head puns too. Lots of head puns. Yeah. Speaking of head puns, let's talk about the head of the family. We are. The character. Oh, the, the head. Yeah, the head of the family. <laughs> I was, uh, the I was brains of the operation. <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> <laughs> the mastermind. <laughs> the head we're, chef. <laughs> we're getting ahead of ourselves. Exactly. We already, we already used that. Yeah. I know, but I also wanted to say a pun. But I kind of like this movie, actually. Yeah. It's one of the better Full Moon features I've ever seen, apart from, you know, Puppet Master 3? Which one was that? That, that was the one where that took place in Nazi Germany and the oh, old yes. puppets. That was wonderful. Make more movies where you kill Nazis, Full Moon. But this one is quite fascinating. One of the things I think I really like about Full Moon features is that they're so made on the cheap that it's very little oversight. And I enjoy that because that means the movie can end up being like neither have a happy ending nor a sad ending. Yeah, yeah. Full Moon doesn't understand endings, so you get a bizarre way to end a movie. Yes, and you never know what you're gonna get. Including this one. <laughs> yes. Uh, anyways, let's begin by talking a little bit about each character. Let's begin what, with, uh... Head. Billy Ray Cyrus, I was gonna say. Oh, okay. Don't wanna want no. start with the villains? Uh, yeah. Who they... isn't the villain in this piece? <laughs> That's point. another genius ploy from this movie. No, no good characters. No protagonist, no antagonist. Just... Antagonists. I guess. Antagonists. <laughs> It is spectacular oh. <laughs> in that I wanted no one to win. <laughs> yep. And that's a unique feature. But let's begin with Billy Ray Cyrus, who is Which the one? protagonist? 
Oh, okay. Not future Billy Ray Skip. Cyrus. Who Past Billy like, Ray. Yeah. yeah. Past Billy Ray. He's a dick. <laughs> yes, he is. He also <laughs> has one which he uses frequently. Yes. I like that they use sex scenes for exposition. <laughs> if you want, <laughs> if they want the plot while fucking. If you want people to pay attention, you have to give them something to look at. So, hey, look, they're fucking. Also, dropping plot points. Woo. Yeah, well, that's one way of keeping the audience engaged, I guess. And... <laughs> well, you weren't engaged while they were dirty talking or you know delivering plot lines. <laughs> Call me Scarlet. Okay, Scarlet, here's what we're gonna do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was weird. It was entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, past Billy Ray Cyrus. Yes. He looks exactly like Billy Ray Cyrus in... Um, like, Achy Breaky Heart era. pre achy Breaky Heart. Like, when no one knew him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's... Kind of clever for the movie, which is to say, you know, he's not that clever. <laughs> yep. You, you know, he has some decent plans mm. on how to get away with what he's doing. <laughs> like, he's basically found a way to blackmail... The... Someone with this head. Yeah. Do you yeah. think you can blackmail this guy's head? That's where past Billy Ray Cyrus shows a lack of intelligence in trying to push yeah. his luck. Yeah. But uh, yes, we can move on to current Billy Ray Cyrus, who <laughs> makes gun in the most confusing cafe ever that sells both cereals, groceries, and meat plates. And we don't mean cereal as in cereal boxes, like they serve cereal as like... A dish. Yeah, a dish, yeah. yeah. Why would any restaurant do this? The more apt question is why don't restaurants do it? Restaurants, get your game together. Andreas, I think it's just plot convenience so they don't have to go to three separate places. Oh, it's my favorite, uh, the soup kitchen mart. My point stands. <laughs> Cereal in restaurants. Make it happen. I think they actually do that in some places. Yeah, probably. We're not American, we don't know. That's where the movie, like 30% of the movie takes place, so yeah, I can hope. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. They, they allow people to assemble guns there, <laughs> they have groceries, they sell cereal and meat steaks, <laughs> and potatoes with more mashed potatoes, <laughs> we think. Taters and molasses. The They're so much better than algebra classes. <laughs> Sorry, you can continue now, I love that too. The actors sometimes act like they're in a porno, <laughs> porno movie. Our daddy taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks, especially since they're such good size and all. So unless you want me to go to the law with this, I suggest you talk to me. Uh, it's kind of like that at times. It, like the way they talk with their southern accent and cut thing, it does remind you of the I pulled the skin <laughs> storyline. Yeah, I see that. Your daddy gave you good advice. Tim Stackpools is loaded with the green stuff. And you're gonna get... Woman! Yes, girlfriend of future and current Billy Ray Cyrus, or she's past the and current Billy Ray Cyrus. She's the girlfriend of current Billy Ray Cyrus, and she wants to fuck the past Billy Ray Cyrus, so they get a plan to get rid of him, that's where the head family comes in. And you know, it's interesting with her, because it seems to me that she is motivating people towards bad actions to make more money. So, in a certain sense, this movie is saying girls manipulate you into make, into making bad decisions because they're bloodthirsty beings. But on the other hand, that's more interesting than other movies. <laughs> Don't worry, she fucks a lot. Yeah. Not the night. It's weird how much she gets naked. Yeah. Yeah. But... On the other hand, it's not weird because this is a B movie that nobody really cares about except people like us. Yeah, let's talk about the other girl, the uh, girl from the family. I don't remember her name, but her special power is what they try to kind of say is boobs. <laughs> That's her power. Power of boobs. The others Again, have... it feeds into this thematic women are dangerous kind of plotline. Which, you know, we don't agree with, then, but it's amusing that that's the plot line. Yeah. Then there's a guy with big eyes. 
He has like three lines, I think. I, I don't think he has big eyes, he just... That's like... <laughs> yeah. he, he has the eyes of a hawk! <laughs> Are you sure about that? Quick googly eyes here in editing. Hang on, I'll make it easy for you. There we go. Put googly eyes here, that's how it kind of looks like. I also have long hair compared to him. Anyway, he has two lines and they're the best lines in the movie. He, he has like three, four lines. He threatens the lawyer too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He also says, groceries. And my favorite, my, my eyes. eyes. <laughs> no, my eye. <laughs> my eye. It's great. My eye, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> what an eyesore. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Play the Seinfeld music. <laughs> yeah. I'm <laughs> funny. We also have the strong one, which. Yeah. What was Otto. This? Otto. Otto. Thanks, I don't- I didn't remember. Was it Otis? I think it was Otto. Yeah. Whatever. We watched this. We- it, allow us some playroom. Uh, Otto. Well, his deal was that it was strong and also that he fell in love with the woman mm -hmm. who manipulated the Billy Ray Cyruses. Pretty girl. That, that was what he could say. That was his lines. <laughs> He also had some other lines when he threw the uh, Bill Ray Sellers on the wall. And also when he got married, but... <laughs> yeah, like ha, and ha, and ha. <laughs> and do. <laughs> you think Otto is his real name and they just had to change the script so that he would respond? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oof. And finally we get to the head of the family. I just realized that we may be on Dutch Angle. Yeah, it's fine. Oh no shit. Welcome to Dutch Angle Page Fire. Welcome to Page Fire. We have so many locations to film and none of them are good. It's Norway, so no place is good. Yeah. <laughs> but the head of the family wants both a normal body because he thinks that people can function with half a brain. So he thinks 100% of someone's brain can keep his massive brain in it and he'll be fine. And oh shit, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, and he also wants world domination for some reason. Yep. I mean, you gotta have some motivations. Yeah. They just don't seem to align, that's all. Some people want to be musicians, some They're, want, some want to be librarians, others want to dominate the entire planet. Well, he's he's kind of a Chad. <laughs> he, he, he dropped pussy for world domination. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the Chad move. <laughs> the virgin Brilly Ray. The Chad head. <laughs> head job of the family. <laughs> no, I, I... It's just, you know, I was going to say that while they may seem like multiple, uh, uh, very different, like, plans, it just goes to show that he's a very deep and complex character. Yeah. Because he has more than one motivation. And he has more than three dialogues. Yeah, he has lots of dialogues. He appreciates the theater. He even wrote a really bad play. <laughs> which, you know, should have had more acts, frankly. He just took Joan of Arc and skipped to the end. <laughs> no, why would you skip, like, her uprising and fight against uh, tyranny he's like in the Michael, name of God? He's like, like Michael Bay, he only cares about the spectacle. So he skips to the action part. <laughs> Dude, she was in war. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's skipping the spectacle and action. The Simpsons got it more right. <laughs> Oof. Do you want this movie to be four hours, one hour of movie, and three hours of reenactment of Joan of Arc? With yes. Pe with people with less brain and a woman forced to read lines from paper? Yes. Make that movie, Full Moon, I dare you. Do it. I mean, clearly you you don't give a shit about what mainstream entertainment is. I'll sit down and watch a remake of Head of the Family where just three hours of it is just that play. 
and it's just an occasion of cuts to him reviewing his own play. <laughs> yes, yeah, saying how it's brilliant. I like the part where they hold the stick. <laughs> a little bit more of an impressive set, though, if we're gonna do that. Like, not for the entire movie, just for that one part. So, Martin. Would you recommend Head of the Family, and who would you recommend it to? People with big heads. <laughs> this movie's a mind reader. Boggles the mind. Yes. It'll get you thinking. Yeah. Uh, Andre, <laughs> who would you recommend this movie to? <laughs> People with small heads so they can feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they don't feel otherwise or what? <laughs> People with small heads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck shit, guys. I recommend this to people. <laughs> what about you, Andreas? Who would you recommend it to? I liked it. I would recommend it to people who like B-movies and who enjoy weird cinema rather than mainstream cinema. And heads. You gotta enjoy heads. Or tails. And the fact that most of the, most of the scenes uh, have nudity can add to it if you like that stuff too. It's okay, they drop plot points in the nudity scene, so you'll definitely have to pay attention. There's always a reason for anyone to pay attention, not into what's happening on the screen. Pay attention to the dialogue and the subtle storytelling. And boobies. boobies. But if you're not into that, you can just focus on the boobs. Boobs, <laughs> yes. Welcome to boob fire. Welcome to the boob tube. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to boob fire. We'll check you for breast cancer. <laughs> He's Claire. <laughs> <laughs> what? You were what I was gonna ask you. <laughs> you were watching Headfire. <laughs> You're watching Headfire where I every time I sit down here I wonder why Why do I get a headache from you two? <laughs> why am I friends with you guys? <laughs> Cause you have no one else. <laughs> hey, hey, we don't either, so you know. Oh, that's supposed to help. Sponsored by Bland Ketchup. Put it on your head. Apply the rector to the forehead. <laughs> head on. I should have taken off my glasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was a bad idea. <laughs> Welcome to Page Fire. <laughs> Hi. I analyze books. <laughs> <laughs> go to the fucking bathroom. <laughs> Andreas, go. Go. Oh, well, goodbye. Did you drip on the movie? I think so. I don't know. Someone has to turn no. off the camera. You guys like scary movies? You like jazz? My glasses, y'all. Hold on, don't turn on the camera yet. There we go. Just we have ending sync for the audio. Yeah. And the phone.